Now, I wanted to share with you that unfortunately due to our still our current pandemic situation, a lot of things were on back order and I am just the most impatient person you will ever come to know and I could not wait until the end of August for a table. So my wonderful husband, um, he's so good. He completely made me a plinth table that is kind of still in the works. We have the shape and it's currently right behind me, but we plan on doing um, a faux marble effect with some products. And I'm gonna film that for you guys. Kind of like if you ever watched those TikTok videos where people are redoing their countertops in marble, that's the idea. So I'm going to kind of find all those videos and really break it down, break down the science, and we're going to apply the same principle to the coffee table. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna take you through the space and I wanna share with you the DIY projects that I did. And I wanna show you the new couch, the new rug, the new table. So without further ado, let's go. just came in and we're getting ready to set them all up I'm so excited now they say these are beige and of course camera always shows the color a little bit differently but these look more gray to me I don't know about you guys so inside my husband just pulled out the pillow and there's a little headrest so we already have one set up let me show you this is the situation so pretty guys okay so this is pretty random but I decided to do a little project I took out from the garage just one of these um, drop cloths plastic drop cloths and with a sheet and some glue we're going to create a textured um, wall art so I'm really excited I have seen a few people do these um, on YouTube and they look stunning I've also come across them on Instagram as well and so this should be really straightforward you just need to take your sheet and um, make sure that it's the right size to the frame because we're going to staple it behind let me get ready to show you guys exactly what you're going to be needing um, this is super straightforward Okay, you guys, so here is my workspace. I'm in my front room. Lay down the plastic is the painting. I went ahead and scraped off all the plaster and I primed it. So that's why you see those random spots there. Here is my sheet. I just have an old sheet. This is a like a twin size. We don't have any twin beds anymore. So I'm just using something that we don't need. And a huge old gallon of Elmer's glue. I got this one at Lowe's. It was like maybe $12 or $14 for this huge, let's see. Yeah, one gallon exactly. So very easy. We're going to first lay this across. Okay, 
Let me just tap there. So now that we laid it down, it looks even to me. Um, don't worry about the sides that are really long. Don't worry about cutting those now. We want to basically let the glue really harden up the fabric. And then we're gonna cut it to size, but we're also gonna tuck it around the frame and we are going to use a staple gun and staple around the frame. So again, super easy. This is all about using your creativity, your imagination. We're just gonna dump the glue on there as you're gonna see in a few minutes and you're just going to sculpt your abstract art, whatever comes to your mind. So let's get started. This is it drying. I really like just the organic lines. Um, I left a lot of negative spacing. Just kind of went with it. I really like it that way. Um, yeah, so this is it. <laughs> there she is, guys. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's so cool. Um, yeah, just a little random pulling and you can create your own shapes. Um, that's why I didn't cut it to size um, in the beginning. Most of you probably were like, oh, I would cut it to the size of the frame. The reason why I leave the edges out is so that you have the opportunity to pull. As you see, when I lay down the glue, it gets really stuck um, to the canvas. So you need a little bit of room to lift and um, to lift the fabric and pull so that you can make your shape. So I found it super easy to just take some scissors and cut the excess off the back. And that's it, now it's ready to be hung. Um, I have been forever and ever and ever wanting to do this. Um, by the way, do you see the lime wash paint on the wall? Um, I absolutely loved it. I'm linking down Color Atelier, they are um, a paint company that specializes in lime wash and they have so many colors guys so video I hope that you were inspired by these DIYs I want to show you guys that you know you do not have to spend a lot of money to get the things that you want if you are handy if you are just a little bit crafty if you have extra hands at home that can help then guys think about making your own you know your own art your own lighting system your own tables um, guys, even reupholstering chairs and sofas, the sky's the limit. There are so many things that you can do to refresh and revamp a space without spending a lot of money. Again, I invested um, into my couch and I didn't invest in anything else. I repurposed my curtains that I had there. I um, had my husband build a table for me. Now that's the only thing I would say, like if you don't know how to build or have tools, then you know, maybe go through um, an antique shop or um, a thrift store and find a really nice table. And sandpaper costs very little. You would be surprised what you can do with some um, sandpaper and some stain guys. So I hope that this pushes your imagination a little bit that you can get really, um, 
you can get really stylish with your space. You can make it look as luxe as you want with just some imagination. Get inspiration from Pinterest, get inspiration from your favorite design pages and sort of source these inspirations and think about the things that you really, really are drawn to and love. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I do a lot of these room renovations, a lot of DIY projects, guys. So if this is your type of content, if you enjoyed this type of content, then think about subscribing to this channel. I also highly suggest putting on your post notifications so that you can get alerted every time I upload a video and you will not miss um, when I post. So, so I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this week. I'll see you in my next video soon.